Haas. So, my Haas <laughs> grid for my my Haas pairing. Do we have more F one algebra? <laughs> no, I don't have F one algebra yet. Um, is and and this is actually going to stay even with my 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 version two. Um, is Kevin Magnuson? Um, because I don't think that they have anybody better to replace him with. And Ollie Behrman, yes, yes, okay. I was gonna yes. say. Yeah, so I just think that with Hulkenberg leaving, they and they they need to have a little bit of consistency. And yeah, K Mags isn't great, but there also isn't a lot of stock of available drivers to replace, you know, Kevin Magnuson with. Like we're we're in a we're in one of those years where there really aren't a lot of drivers banging down the door. And even Ollie, you know, we love Ollie. He had a great performance in in, in Saudi, but. Ollie does need to pick it up a little bit in the F2 race and the F2 championship, um, or it might be a little iffy. No, I, I completely agree. Um, I mean, Ollie did really, really well. And I think he proved that he can do it. I think he'll benefit, you know, being able to be the young driver and get more laps in for both Ferrari and Haas, just like they did last year. Um, yeah. So I, I, I really want to see him on the grid. He's really young, and I think he'll do really well. Um, I just struggle with how Haas has brought rookies onto the grid. Like, they kind of just throw them to the wolves, and they don't give them a, a great car. Maybe it's changed now that, you know, next year we'll be way into the current regulations, so the car will be not a first, you know, year regulation car. They'll have a little bit of an idea, at least, what's going on. So I just hate having – rookies come in and just crashing and burning and only doing one year because they didn't have a good car you know what I mean yeah no exactly and you know I think that there have been some changes you know I think Haas has proven this year so far obviously five races in what do we know um that they that they've got a little bit more on top of things and I think that Komatsu you know not to say that he would handle another rookie better than um than our favorite Gunther Steiner. But I do think that Kamatsu is going to handle a rookie coming on differently with also the lessons learned of everything that they had to go through de- dealing with Nikita Mazepin and Mick Schumacher together. Yeah. So w- will there be some growing pains for, for Behrman? Will Haas do Haas things sometimes? Yes. Um, but it gets him on the grid and gives him, you know, gives Ollie time and experience before he, you know, ultimately ends up moving to Ferrari if that happens. Right. Which if Lewis decides to bow out at some point within the next few years, um, not to say that Lewis will, but if he does, then Ollie's a perfect fit to, to not, you know, go right after. Right. And that was my next point too, is like Haas is a good, you know, launch pad, but I don't know where he would go from that because I mean, Charles and Lewis are locked in for a little bit at Ferrari. So well, then it, it comes a little bit of a Pierre Gasly thing where Pierre Gasly was at, you know, AlphaTauri Toro Rosso yeah. forever. And yeah. then the seat at Alpine opened up and he's like, he just jumped ship. Viva La France. Yeah. Um, so I, I think that, you know, Haas can afford Ollie for a few years. No, that's fair. That's fair. 